The Denver Nuggets are coming off an impressive 115-103 win over the Kawhi Leonard-led Clippers and won this game without their MVP candidate Nikola Jokic who was out with a wrist injury. But fear not Nuggets fans, the Nuggets are not concerned and head coach Michael Malone said that he's hoping Jokic's wrist calms down so he can play on Sunday. Jokic being out on Friday night showed us that this version of the Denver Nuggets isn't a one-man show anymore. They got many weapons who can beat you, starting with Jamal Murray, who had 24, 8, and 4 on 8 of 17 shooting from the field. Michael Porter Jr. had 22, 4, and 3 on 9 of 17 from the field. Aaron Gordon had 17, 5, and 5 on 6 of 8 shooting from the field. And KCP even chipped in with 14 in this one. The Denver Nuggets now have a 29 and 13 record and are in first place in the Western Conference. What's going on everyone? Luca here back with another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about the Denver Nuggets and why they are a nightmare to deal with. If you guys can do me a solid favor, hit a like on this video, it does help it a ton. And please subscribe to the channel for more Nuggets and NBA content. We're trying to hit 30K subs, so if you guys can help me get there, that would be greatly appreciated. And also, about 96.1% of you are watching my videos but aren't subscribed, so make sure you are subbed with the post notice turned on so you never miss one of my latest uploads. Looking at Jamal Murray in particular, He's been having a great season for the Nuggets so far. And take this week, for example, in the Nuggets win on Monday against the Lakers, Jamal Murray netted a season-high 34 points to lead all scorers in the game. That performance showcased perhaps the strongest evidence that Jamal Murray is closer than ever to regaining his previous form since recovering from the ACL injury he had on April 12th of 2021, which sidelined him for well over a season and two Nuggets playoff runs. Jamal Murray had in fact not scored as many points in nearly two years with his most recent 34 point performance, dating back to less than a month before his injury. And then on Friday, Jamal Murray led all Nuggets players in scoring. And you can tell that Murray welcomed the challenge of leading this team with Jokic. We're ready for it. Everybody stepped up and it was a next man up mentality, Jamal Murray said post game. Another part of Jamal Murray's game that goes unnoticed is he is a phenomenal post defender. Teams keep trying him and Murray makes them pay. If Jamal Murray can play like this consistently, then the Denver Nuggets have something special on their hands. Nikola Jokic then has his Robin, and this duo of Murray and Jokic arguably becomes the NBA's most lethal offensive duo in the form of their nearly unstoppable two-man game. Then you gotta take a look at Michael Porter Jr., who is also coming along nicely this season. Porter Jr. was also an integral part in this win as he had 22 points on 9 of 17 shooting with 4 rebounds, 3 assists, a block, and a steal. More significant than his scoring was his physicality, which the Nuggets needed in the absence of Jokic. Porter played with a bruising aggressiveness, and he didn't hesitate at the sign of contact. And he's been playing with a great deal of determination that's led to four dunks in his last two games. Michael Porter Jr. is frustrated that his three-point shooting hasn't been where he expected it to be, though it is still at 40% on the season. Porter has said that he's tried to mix in drives within his offensive arsenal, and so far that's been working great for him. And then let's talk about Aaron Gordon, who appears more confident than ever this season. His form looks great, and he looks so confident shooting the basketball. Aaron Gordon has put up 16.5 points per game, 6.8 rebounds, and 2.4 assists per game on 37.6% shooting from three, and he has a 65% true shooting percentage, giving the Nuggets another guy they can lean on. The Nuggets have a solid trio outside of Jokic, and then if you include KCP's production, the Nuggets are even more lethal than ever. The four-man lineup of Jamal Murray, KCP, Michael Porter Jr., and Aaron Gordon equates for 333 minutes, 121.1 offensive rating, 107 defensive rating, and a 14.1 net rating. Now, there's been a lot of praise in this video of the Denver Nuggets, and I haven't even really talked about Nikola Jokic yet. The NBA recently released its latest MVP rankings, and Nikola Jokic is number one on that list, followed by Doncic, Tatum, Antetokounmpo, and Embiid. Jokic stats this season have been unreal. He's averaging 24.9 points, 11 rebounds, 9.7 assists, 
and he's shooting a 61.8% from the field and 37.5% from deep. But his three-point shooting in January has been off the charts. Actually, everybody on the Nuggets is lighting it up from three in this month. Jokic is shooting a 63.6%, KCP at 54.2%, Jamal Murray at 51.9%, and Bowens Highland shooting it at 47.5%. And shout out to Highland. He's been having a solid season for the Nuggets as well. And he's one of the players you can forget about on this very deep Nuggets team. And the Nuggets being on fire from three in January isn't a fluke because the Nuggets have actually found success from three all season. They are the best three-point shooting team in the league this season. As a whole, the Denver Nuggets are 100% a title contender. This team is extremely deep, and that is what you need to win a championship. The front office went out and did their job. They made some moves that will benefit this team, not only in the regular season, but in the playoffs. The Nuggets signed Bruce Brown Jr. and traded for Ish Smith and KCP emphasizing their need for 3 and D players. Led by two-time MVP Nikola Jokic, this Nuggets team seems different. And with the addition of a healthy Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr., Denver is playing on a whole new level. They can score the ball as effectively as anyone in the league, and Denver can also play defense. The Nuggets are by far the best team in the Western Conference right now. It was only a matter of time before this Nuggets experiment all came together. And the Nuggets started living up to the potential that experts have touted for years. The Denver Nuggets look like a serious threat to win their first NBA championship. And there's reason to believe they found the recipe to do so. With an excellent mix of star players and a strong supporting cast, the Nuggets will be very challenging to take down in the playoffs, especially if they have home court advantage throughout. Stop sleeping on the Denver Nuggets this team is in fact for real. I mean, the Denver Nuggets have been one of my favorite teams to watch this season. They're just such a fun brand of basketball. And as I said last week, when I dropped my other Nuggets video, I mean, if you aren't watching Nuggets basketball, you live on the East Coast like me, you gotta stay up to watch this team. The way they play is so beautiful at times. Everything seems so effortless, especially when Jokic is out there. And right now I can't pick a team in the West that I would feel confident with in terms of beating the Denver Nuggets in a best of seven playoff series. The Nuggets have such a great collection of players and they are deep. And if there's gonna be one year where they figure it all out, put it all together and actually do it, this feels like the year and season in which they could very well accomplish their goal of winning it all. So we'll see how that all unfolds. But let me know where your reaction has been to this Nuggets team. Do you think the Nuggets have enough to win the NBA title? And how far do you see this Nuggets team going? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Again, guys, drop a like on the video. It does help the algorithm a ton. And subscribe to the channel for more Nuggets and NBA content. That is it for me, everyone. As always, thank you so much for watching. This is Luca signing off, and I'll catch you all again in the next video.